Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet and I hope you enjoy this tutorial of this adorable DIY Mother's Day gift, which is a wine cup cork holder. What you're going to need first is a cardboard box or a poster board from Dollar Tree if you'd like. One thing I do recommend you do is if you're going to use the poster board from Dollar Tree, I would recommend you doubling it up and stacking two of these wine cups together um, with some E6000. That way it could be sturdy enough for you to hang. Um, considering the weight of the basket and the corks that you'll be adding into this um, decoration. So what I'm going to do basically is make a 12 inch measuring uh, line at the top, which is gonna be the top of my rim or the cup. Then I went down eight inches and then drew a 10 inch line, which I'm marking right here. Um, and then I'm just gonna draw that 10 inch line and that's gonna be the top of my wine cup. So I'll make sure to leave all the exact measurements down below for you guys if you want to make the wine cup measurements like I am, um, but basically just try to portion out your cup uh, to, depending on the size you want to make. From the bottom 10 inch line to where my stand's going to start, I drew a line eight inches. Then I'm going to, right here, draw another line 10 inches, and that's going to be basically the stand of my cup. And then I drew another line to make that oval part of my stand and I did 10 inches then I did a 9 inch line um, after an inch and a half down from the where I'm at right now <laughs> from my stand part about an inch and a half down and then I drew a 9 inch just to give it a little bit smaller uh, portion size I guess you could say from my stand um, but basically just try to make the measurements um, even out and balance out if you decide to make it any bigger than what I am. Um, so just go ahead and draw your lines like this and now I'm just going to basically connect the dots and kind of make my cup. If you don't feel comfortable doing it this way, you can also just go ahead and print out a wine cup and then trace it out, um, which might be easier and more portioned, but um, if you want to freehand it, go ahead and do it as well. So uh, here I am just kind of drawing out my wine glass. And just giving it the shape. And you don't have to worry about your lines being perfect or um, being seen once you're done. There's two options that you can do. One that I'm going to show you, and I'm sure there's more than two options, but that I could think of. Um, one that I'm going to show you, which is we're gonna put some um, contact paper on this board or you can also paint your wine cup um, you could even glitter it up if you know some mothers out there that like that glittery look go ahead and add some Mod Podge and glitter up your wine cup which would be adorable as well um, but I wanted it to be more of a farmhouse style so I'm going to use contact paper So what I'm doing here is basically making the bottom of my wine cup, um, which would be the stand, or I guess it would be called the foot of your wine cup. Um, and just, again, tracing it out, drawing it freehand, basically just drew the lines. And then once you're happy with the shape of your cup, go ahead and start using an X-Acto knife or a box cutter and trace it out to cut it out. This cardboard that I'm using is a really thick cardboard. Um, I purchased an item that it came in a huge, really hard, thick cardboard box. So what I did was cut up that box into small, smaller pieces, kind of like the size of a poster board. And I stocked up, that way I don't have to buy any more poster board for a while. So that's something that I like to do just to save me a little bit more money. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm using a box cutter or an X-Acto knife and go ahead and trace it out and just remove the excess part of your board from your cup. I 
had a question for you guys. Uh, do you have like a Mother's Day tradition that you do? I know some people do brunch and others, you know, do other things. What kind of traditions or um, things that you know you typically do for Mother's Day every year? I don't have any, but I'm really curious to know if any of you do and what are they? Um, maybe I can start my own tradition with my girls. So what I'm doing here again is just cutting my wine cup with my X-Acto knife. I just started getting more into drinking different styles of wine and you know actually learning about the difference between one wine and another so when i saw this idea i actually really really loved it and i wanted it for myself um that's why i'm making it more of a farmhouse style because my kitchen and dining room are more farmhouse um but of course you can like i said make it any style you like for any of the mothers out there or just for yourself like i am so what I'm going to do is get my contact paper and basically I just drew it out about an inch bigger um, than my actual wine cup itself. And then I'm just going to cut it out with my scissors and just cut that pattern of my cup. Like I said, I did cut it about an inch wider than my cup itself and that way I could fold it um, on the edges so if you do see this wine cup hanging um, you won't see that cardboard on the edges or the sides of your wine cup you'll actually just see the paper so if you do paint it or do glitter your cup make sure to do the sides as well so once you're done tracing and cutting out your contact paper I'm just saving my little sides because you never know when you need that small little piece of contact paper. What I'm going to do is use some spray adhesive and just use any kind. I know a friend of mine said that Dollar Tree has um, spray adhesive. I've never seen it, but um, I am going to look for it this time I go to Dollar Tree. But um, just go ahead and use any spray can adhesive that you have and just spray it onto the what's going to be the front of your wine cup then just remove the contact paper from the sticky part or your paper and just start rubbing it onto your board and i like to do this in little sections especially for a big piece like this and that spray adhesive makes this permanent it won't rub off it won't come off of your board or anything that you attach it to um, that's why i love using my spray adhesive when i use contact paper because sometimes it's not as sticky as you need. So what I'm going to do with that extra part that we did um, cut out of our wine cup from the contact paper, I'm just making little pieces. I'm cutting the edges off, spraying some adhesive again, just a little bit, not too much, to that contact paper. That way I can fold it over towards the back. Now you can add some more contact paper to the back of your wine cup if you choose to. I just basically left it as is. I was just made sure that all my edges were covered up with the contact paper as well. Once you start letting that spray adhesive dry, it does get really, really tacky. So um, just be careful with that part so you won't rip off, uh, rip any of your contact paper when you do fold it over. So once you're done with that, this is the way it's going to look. And just give it a moment to dry and you can keep playing with it and kind of rubbing the edges so um, they start looking more nice and even. So while that's drying, what I did was I'm going to recycle one of these wire baskets from Dollar Tree. Now, if you have a round basket, which I know they have, um, the oval kind, it would be a lot easier um, because basically you would just have to cut it in half and not have to form it or shape it. Um, but all I had on hand was this rectangle one. But this is a smaller size basket. And what I'm doing is just using some sharp uh, scissors and cutting it in half. Now, I'm not cutting the thick wire part um, you'll see that I just skipped the edging 
of that part because the way I'm going to break that part off is basically just by bending my basket in half. So just cut all in between the wire part. Once you're done, then you can just basically bend one of your sides, remove the handle part as well, I'm sorry. And then once you're done removing your handle part, again, we're just gonna bend one of those sides to start breaking this piece, this basket in half. And all I did was just kind of wiggle it and bend it up and down and it'll easily break off once you do that just like that and then you just go ahead and do this other side and once you've done that just bend it backwards or towards itself and just keep doing that a few times and it'll break the edges of the bottom part as well and if you don't feel comfortable make sure you use gloves for this part I would hate for you to Cut yourself on those little edge wires. So once you're done, just go ahead and set aside one of those baskets for another project and just keep one. And all I'm doing is just kind of forming it to make it more of an oval shape. You can leave it as the square if you like or the rectangle shape. I just wanted it to be more of an oval shape, um, kind of to mimic a wine cup or wine glass. So once you're happy with the shape that you're um, doing your wire basket, just look, kind of place it on top of your wine cup just to see if you like the way it looks and you know if it looks even to you. And once you're happy with that, what I'm going to do is I actually used E6000 and a little bit of hot glue to wire, to glue it onto my board, which I lost that footage. So, um, now once you let that dry when you use the e6000 and your hot glue to your wire basket what i did to give it more of that security and support is i got some jute um, nautical rope and i'm adding some hot glue into the interior of the basket and then gluing my nautical rope right on top of that basket um, where i use the e6000 and hot glue to connect my basket and that way um I know it's more secure this way. But like I said, all I did was use E6000 and hot glue at the edge or at the end of my half basket. And then I glued it onto my wine glass and put something heavy on top for about 30 minutes to allow it to dry. Then once it was dry, I went ahead and added that nautical rope around the interior of my basket and now what I'm going to do is the same thing with the nautical rope and do the outside just to give it more of that uniform look so all I did was use some hot glue and added it right to my the edge of my basket where it connects to my wine glass then I wrapped it around with the nautical rope And just hold it for a few minutes to allow it to glue it um, to dry a little bit then I just continued gluing it all the way to the bottom and I started um, to form my wine cup with the nautical rope as well so what I'm going to do is just glue a little bit at a time holding it down Then I just glued a little bit of the um, hot glue to the nautical rope, then just kind of pressed it down and about an inch away from the edge of my wine glass, just to form that smaller wine glass, just to give it more of an outline of what it is. Then I went down towards the bottom and did continue doing the same thing, just adding glue a little bit at a time to form my wine glass. Now, if you don't have nautical rope or you don't wanna use nautical rope because if it's more of a farmhouse style and you want it more uh, traditional or just not use rope, you can use 
some of the wiring from Dollar Tree. They typically come in gold, um, green, and red, colors like that. It's a thicker wiring, uh, floral wiring. What you can do is just spray paint it or paint it and then add it on the same way I'm adding my nautical rope. Just add your wiring this way. Like I said, I just started drinking wine, so I didn't have any corks um, to add in here, but I'm hoping <laughs> it'll be nice and full soon. Um, but what is your favorite wine if you are a wine drinker and why? You know, what meals do you use it for? I know there's so many different kinds of wines out there, but you know, if you have a favorite one, let me know. I'm curious to know and I'll let you know if I try it and what I think of it myself. So once you've glued your nautical rope all around the outside of your basket and formed the wine glass, just go ahead and cut off the remaining part of your nautical rope. Now once you're all complete, what I decided to do was I went ahead and flipped it over and added um, some nautical rope to hang my, to have that option to hang my wine glass. And what I decided to do was grab another piece of the cardboard and just make it a little bit smaller to glue it right where um, the stand part is of my wine glass towards the back. That way it would be nice and secure and it won't bend right there at that um, glass part or the handle part. Once I was completely done with that, what I decided to do was grab some brown paint from um, Apple Barrel and I'll leave that color down below and added it with some water just to give it more of that um, wet look. And I brushed it on to the edges of my wine cup. And all I did was just basically brushed all the edging just to give it more of that darker look. More of a distressed look. Now you don't have to use brown, you can use white, gray, any color you like just to distress your uh, piece. To... Once it was all done, what I did was grab my sand bl uh, block and just sand it down a little bit. And it doesn't take much because it does, um, if you rub it too much with that sand block, you're going to basically remove all the paint. So just make, be careful and just give it a really light coat of, uh, you know, just a really light sanding until you're happy with the amount that you have removed. And what I did was basically just use the same brush with whatever was left on there and kind of just brushed it everywhere just to give my um, wine glass more of that darker wood look and I painted inside the basket as well. And what you can do is just get a washcloth or a napkin and while the paint is still wet, just wipe it down. Um, if you want it to be less noticeable that you painted it with that darker color. And there you have it. And this is the way it looks hanging. And you can also just lean it on something as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. And hope you guys have a great Mother's Day. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye.